Hi, in this short video, I'm going to talk about the seven principles of HACCP. My name's Chris from FQM. We'd appreciate it if you follow us on LinkedIn and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So when we talk about HACCP, it's important because it prioritizes and controls potential hazards in the full food production life cycle. This is including all items and steps related to the actual raw material, the packaging, the labeling, the storage, the distribution processes, and by controlling the risks such as microbiological, chemical, and physical contaminants. The industry can better assure our consumers that we're doing all we can to ensure safe, good science is used and technology all the way through the supply chain. So HACCP, Hazard Analysis Critical Control Points. So when we refer to the seven principles, principle number one, conduct a hazard analysis. This is where we analyze all through the life cycle of what we're involved on, what the potential hazards are to the food products. Determine the critical control points. This is where we establish where we may have some prerequisites which are under control as part of the hazard analysis, but we identify the critical hazards that can really bring about risk within our business. Then we have to establish what those critical limits may be associated to our control points. These may be related to temperature or time or in terms of the products and chemicals that we may be using within our activity. They may also be in terms of limits associated to segregation related to allergens, for example. We must establish monitoring procedures. So how will we put these critical limits under control as part of our critical control points. And of course, we must establish corrective actions. So those corrective actions may simply be actions that we take because we've identified greater weaknesses when we conduct our hazard analysis. They may also be corrective actions that we put in place because there may be deviations occur within our business during normal business activities. Or of course, they could be activities that occur outside of normal business operations, maintenance activities, shutdowns that we may have once a year. And then of course, we must think about the corrective actions that we have to put in place because a deviation has been identified. And then of course, we have to have verification procedures. So what is it we are going to do? to verify the hazard analysis that we've looked at, what the critical control points are, what those critical limits are, and of course, the verification of the actions we've taken. Finally, the seventh point, documentation and records are critical. We must be able to establish that we're meeting legal requirements requirements under international standards like ISO 27001, and possibly even requirements under international standards, so like for example, the BRC, British Retail Consumer Standard. And of course, we have to be able to keep these records in the chance that something has gone wrong and an investigation takes place. So, if you want to know a little bit more, about HACCP, go to our YouTube channel or maybe look at the next video below where we go into more detail in a training web webinar associated to HACCP. I'm Chris from FQM. Thanks for watching.